Well, this mid August weather has been quite the treat. Lots of sunshine, low humidity and very comfortable feeling summer days. York Chevy of Perrysburg camera down toward Levis Commons indicating the dry conditions. The blue skies that we have above in east northeast wind 10 miles per hour has kept us nice and uh, comfortable right around 80 degrees in most spots. Upper 70s and near 80 degrees. More schools could be rolling back into the classroom for tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, lower 60s. The only concern tomorrow morning could be some late short areas to catch an isolated shower into the afternoon. Pretty close to 80 degrees. Mild and pleasant weather will be expected. And keep in mind, you want to see it? Our exclusive school delay hotspot map. And of course, it's sunny dry this week. But as we get into the school year, you know, rain and snow and ice are going to be headed our way. We'll have the exclusive look at that hotspot map as we get into the upcoming school season. So keep that in mind as the Weather inevitably will take that turn. Upper 70s and lower 80s across the area, 75 in Tiffin, 76 in Fremont, mid 70s along our lakeshore areas, and a couple low 80s that are sprinkled in. Toledo over toward Napoleon. A few isolated showers that have blossomed up nicely toward Hillsdale, Lenaway County. Outside of those, about 99% of the area is dry. A couple isolated showers toward Wyandotte and Crawford County. Most of the region, though, is in good shape as the shower threat pulls off to the east. But with the recent rainfall, you probably noticed it. The grass is growing again like crazy here in mid-August. Let's send it over to meteorologist Matt Willoughby. Matt, I have a feeling we're going to be uh, firing up the lawnmowers in no time. Yeah, you'll definitely have to fire them up, and sometimes the grass is greener on the other side for us. But yeah, looking at that grass forecast, you may want to trim that just a little bit as we go throughout the next few days, and you should be good to go as far as trimming that grass as we go over the next few days. We'll see dry conditions as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we'll see likely dry conditions for today. And rain will be possible for Wednesday, but as we go into Thursday and Friday, you should be good to go for any grass cutting chores or anything like that. But if you need something a little more high powered, I have that for you. Looking at that National Tractor Pulling Championships, that's going to be this weekend down in Bowling Green. Just for Thursday, you'll see around 85 degrees. So it'll be a bit on the warmer side with mostly sunny skies. And that'll be the same case as we go into Friday as well with a few clouds. We'll likely see some rain showers as we go into Saturday. So, Chris, when I heard about this, I was like, man, that is interesting. I, we definitely don't have, have that where I'm from. So definitely going to be an interesting event and fun event down here at Bowling Green. Uh, Matt, follow me over here. A loud, loud. <laughs> as well. All right, you're going to need a pair of these. Okay. You can hear them across <laughs> town as they go for the full hole this weekend. It is, oh, it is a big event here in Bowling Green, and, and I'm happy to let you Borrow that. Yeah, headphones. I'm definitely going to have to take those down to Bowling Green. This You'll weekend. need them this weekend. <laughs> if not, you're going to hear it across the area. We'll keep these on a standby, Matt. All right, appreciate that. Look at things and uh, we'll keep those nearby. <laughs> hour by hour forecast. We're going to be looking at dry conditions for the most part tonight into tomorrow morning. There's the lakeshore areas that we'll see the brief chance of a sprinkle. I don't expect it to be anything widespread as we go through your Wednesday. Much like today, Majority of the day is expected to be dry. Brief chance of a shower Wednesday afternoon. Overall, though, the mild August feel is set to continue. Now, the weekend does take that turn towards some more likely chances of rain. Late Saturday, more so into Sunday. Not expecting a washout, but you will see some rain chances. For tomorrow, 82 degrees, mostly sunny skies. Mainly dry day outside of that isolated sprinkle. The winds. They're going to continue out of the northeast up to about 15 miles per hour. Brief shower Wednesday. We're going to be dry Thursday. Dry weather into Friday. There's mid 80s. May squeeze it at the upper 80s as we get to Saturday. The chance of some scattered showers. Rumble of thunder possible late Saturday. And as we get into the end of the weekend, more likely chances of rain going to be expected. As we get into Sunday, likely chances of scattered showers and storms. Right around the lower 80s as we go into Sunday. Then early next week, continued rain chances with wet and unsettled weather as we go into Monday and Tuesday. Highs expected right around the low to mid 80s. But our first chance at seeing those high school football games and it looks like it's going to cooperate. It is going to be dry Friday yeah. evening, so I expect high school football games kickoff time going to be great. We've got big things planned this year with Big Board Friday. Looking forward to that. And if oh my gosh, I was just going to tell Jeff you should these. see these earmuffs that he used to have bring them out when we were on the morning show and you've I, kept them. I kept them. I had to give them to Matt, so I'm going to let him borrow these. Oh, you're passing well. on the baton. Passing it on. If you're anywhere around Bowling Green this weekend, you'll know the, so the sound of that. Go ahead and put them on. I had them on. He had them on earlier. Where have you oh, been? I was talking to you. <laughs> she had, the she had them on. Yes. You can't hear me. All right.